We were in shock, so we, we really didn't want to believe that it was true at first. Friends and family of three people killed in a fire at a Lee County apartment building talked to us about how they'll remember the victims. Leaders of the Kentucky House and Senate met again in Frankfurt today to talk about the state budget. But are they any closer to reaching an agreement? Tyler Ulis has made his decision. Will he be playing for UK or the NBA? This is WQYT News at 6. Good evening to you. Thanks for being here with us. What caused a fire that killed three people in a Lee County apartment building? As firefighters search for that answer, tonight we're learning more about the victims. The fire destroyed the apartment building on Country Club Road in Beattyville. One of the people killed in that fire was 14 weeks pregnant. Today, Victor Puente talked to friends and family of the victims. It's our top story at 6. The young couple renting the bottom apartment here was preparing for some big changes. After yesterday's fire, their families are now getting ready to say goodbye. The Lee County coroner confirmed earlier today that Samantha 2 Daniel and Johnny Bishop were two of the people whose bodies were found after that fire was put out yesterday. He identified the third person as Jennifer Heaton. Neighbors say she was in an upstairs apartment. Daniel's sister said the couple had gotten engaged and were planning for the rest of their life together. She had found a nice boy, and you know they were excited to start their life together. They had just gotten an apartment. Um, they were happy together. Once the fire was out, investigators said three people were unaccounted for, but it wasn't until yesterday evening that they found the bodies. So if he wouldn't have been woke us up within five or ten minutes, we would have been gone too because we didn't even smell anything. Laura Osborne and her family escaped the fire thanks to a neighbor, but lost everything they owned. She also lost two good friends and Samantha and Johnny. And I called her mom and told her what was going on and that was the worst thing ever. I mean, I didn't want somebody else to have to call and do it. Osborne said she'd gone with Daniel last week to have an ultrasound. The 21-year-old was 14 weeks pregnant but hadn't told many people beside her close friend and her sister. Now those friends will have to help her family during the coming days. So it's been really difficult with us, but we, like I've said before, we've had the outpouring of love and support, prayers, uh, food, kinship, friendship offered to us through this time, and it's been really helpful. Investigators at the home this afternoon told me they still have some more witnesses to interview, and they're not ready yet to release the cause of this fire. In Lee County, Victor Puente, WKYT. If you'd like to help, donations are being accepted for the families involved in that fire at the Lee County Courthouse, the Solid Waste Department, and the Happy Top Community Church. We have been tracking showers, storms, and gusty winds across Kentucky today. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey joins us now with the latest. We've got pretty heavy showers right now. Yeah, some good rains across central Kentucky right now, and that is heading to the east, and that's a good thing. For folks in the eastern Kentucky, where winds and a dry ground combining for some brush and forest fires that are currently ongoing. And look at this live sky cam or the series of live sky cams. Focus on Jackson. Look at that forest fire that is in the distance there. And uh, all of a sudden, you see it updates, and we're getting in on some of those gusty winds blowing that smoke around. London, we're dry. Covington, Lexington, raining right now into most of central Kentucky. Eastern Kentucky, we're going to get in on at least some showers over the next little bit. A steadier band of rain coming in across western Kentucky. Heaviest rains in the bluegrass region right now are eastbound along 64. Mount Sterling into the Owingsville area. So most of Montgomery County into Bath County with some very heavy downpours. That extends over into Bourbon County, Lexington Metro, down into parts of Madison County. Heavier rains here. Notice how we catch a bit of a break. London, Corbin over to Williamsburg, Monticello, Whitley City. Then all of a sudden, we ramp it up again. Western Kentucky, where winds around Evansville right now are gusting greater than 60 miles an hour. That future radar showing how the rains continue to increase with that band coming in from the western part of Kentucky as the evening wears on. Winds may actually ramp up a little Bit. We could see some gusts closing in on 50 miles an hour. Much colder air will follow all this up as we have some ugly stuff showing up in the seven day forecast when I come back in a matter of minutes. We'll see you then, Chris. Thank you. They're giving it another try today. Leaders of the Democratic led State House and the Republican led Senate met again in Frankfurt to try and come up with an agreement for a state budget. Talks between the two sides broke down last week and they couldn't agree on higher education funding. As Kristen Kennedy tells us, it comes as time is running out in this legislative session. 
Senate and House leaders spent Wednesday in closed door meetings and on conference calls trying to work out a budget. They must have one ready to vote on Tuesday. If they do not, Governor Bevin will have to call a special session to pass one. It's happened many times before, and uh, it is not, this is something that has happened. It's not unusual. I don't want to say it's common, but it's happened before and we've dealt with it before. Senate President Robert Stivers is confident they'll pass a budget by next week. Republicans like Stivers want the savings that come from the spending cuts put back into the public pension plan. Democrats don't want to see any spending cuts made to education programs. The governor has exempted various areas of state government, uh, such as public protection and uh, health and human services. Everybody else, he asked to take a 9% cut because we have one huge issue, a fiscal issue, and that's the pensions. Stiver says he's been talking with House Speaker Greg Stumbo. We tried to meet with him several times. He was unavailable. His aides told us that he was in meetings all day. In Frankfurt, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Stumbo's aides say the budget bill deadline, which is the last day of the legislative calendar, could be pushed back to as late as April 15th if needed. Right now, they're hoping to vote on a budget on April 12th. After a season that ended with him being named an All-American, Tyler Eulis has decided it is time to move on. Today, the U.K. basketball star said he is officially declaring for the NBA draft. Eulis made the announcement this afternoon with his family by his side. Rob Bromley joins us now with more. Hi, Rob. Hello, and you know, it is incredible what Tyler Eulis accomplished at Kentucky, the smallest player to be a consensus All-American since 1953. And now, after two years as a Wildcat, he'll take his game to the next level. Undoubtedly, there will be some doubters when it comes to his size, as there have been all along. But Eulis believes he's seen a lot playing at UK, and he's well prepared. Everybody's going to be stronger, faster, bigger, but, you know, that's what helps me here at Kentucky because I play with Pros this year, pros last year. We had last year maybe four or seven footers. So, you know, I've seen everything you can see at that. You know, I haven't seen the players that's at that level yet, but, you know, I feel like with the wide open game and the way they play, I can, you know, succeed. John Calipari was not in town for today's announcement, but in a release, Cal called Eulis the best floor general he ever coached. And Cal tweeted out he's going to miss him dearly because all the coaching will now fall back in his lap. Sam Amber, back to you. Yeah, he got to take a break, didn't he? Thanks, Rob. This year, Eulis set the single season record for assists in a season with 246, second all time at UK. We have an update now on the search for a Boyle County woman who's been missing for more than 20 years. Last week, police searched a home near the Boyle Lincoln County line in connection to the disappearance of Anna Lee Manning. They say they did find some evidence there, but today, police told us the search warrant for that home has been sealed indefinitely. So at this point, they aren't saying what led them there. Neighbors did tell us Manning's estranged husband once lived at the home. Manning disappeared in November of 1992. She was last seen in front of a jewelry store in Danville. Tonight, police are still looking for an inmate. They say escaped from the Estill County Jail. State police are not sure how 19-year-old Francis Stamper managed to walk away from the jail yesterday afternoon. Police say they searched the area for hours but couldn't find her. Stamper had been arrested for a failure to appear on a shoplifting charge. Police say that she was last seen wearing a green shirt and black leggings. New tonight, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray has released a new fundraising total for his U.S. Senate campaign. Gray is seeking the Democratic nomination in this year's Senate race. Today, his campaign says he has raised $1.75 million in the first three months of 2016. He announced in late January that he was running for Senate. The incumbent Republican Senator Rand Paul hasn't released his first quarter fundraising totals yet. Today, the Fayette County Health Department celebrated the life of the city's former commissioner of health, Dr. Rice Leach. He died last week at the age of 75 after a battle with cancer. Dr. Leach's career in health spanned 50 years and took him all around the country. Health department leaders say this week is National Public Health Week, and they were planning a celebration for that, but instead they turned it into a celebration for Dr. Leach. We had music, we had a jazz band who played, he loved music. He often said that he would love a jazz funeral. And yesterday at his actual funeral in Frankfurt, he did have a jazz funeral. They played uh, when the Saints go marching in, uh, both slow and fast. 
As one of Dr. Leach's final acts as Lexington's Commissioner of Health, he launched the needle exchange program to curb the spread of diseases such as HIV and hepatitis C. New tonight, it looks like a planned expansion at the Creation Museum in Northern Kentucky will be moving forward. The Northern Kentucky Tribune reports the Boone County Fiscal Court has approved a change in a concept development plan, and that will allow for the expansion. It will include a three level museum building and a separate services building on a 55 acre site. The expansion would also include more than 1,300 new parking spaces. Some people who live nearby oppose the expansion. They say they're worried about an increase in traffic and noise around their homes. New tonight, two dogs rescued from a Jessamine County home nearly two months ago are doing much better. As we first told you in February, animal control officers say the dogs named Boo and Snicker were starving and in poor health when they were found. Since then, animal control says both dogs have been recovering and tonight they are much healthier. They say Boo is now available for adoption, but they say Snicker is not quite ready just yet, so they're hoping to find a temporary home for him outside the animal shelter until he is ready for a permanent home. Kentucky Health leaders want to remind you that flu season is not over yet. Why they think it's lasting longer than usual next. And then Keeneland with some new technology for fans just in time for the spring meet. How your smartphone can help you make a bet. Could this really be the answer for heroin addiction? A little known drug called Vivitrol. I haven't had any cravings or Thoughts of using. WKYT investigates a cure for heroin Thursday at 6 on WKYT. Garages have many uses. So use yours in the best way possible with amazing deals on terrific Honda products like the all new, more powerful Honda Civic with improved ride and handling plus a roomier interior. Winner gets to drive. <laughs> the Honda Dream Garage sales event is happening now. And you've got a garage to fill. Come in and get a great deal on an all new Civic. Now at your Honda dealer. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. With Whitaker Bank's new home equity loan, I only had to pay 1% of my balance back monthly. Whitaker Bank lets qualified applicants borrow up to 90% of your home's value to use now or down the road. I had zero closing costs with the help of Whitaker Bank and the power of the equity in my home. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. What's the biggest thing in home comfort? Fayette Heating and Air, the largest HVAC company in central Kentucky. When your system needs service, bigger is better. That's because they have more than 70 vehicles on the road. So there's one near your home 24-7, 365. Call to schedule your complete system checkup, only $59. For expert service day or night, everywhere in Central Kentucky. When you play Kentucky Lottery games like Five Card Cash, college students all over Kentucky are dealt a winning hand. Feeling imagination. Funding education. Established in 1841, Hill & Myers is a local sixth-generation family-owned business. Our company has evolved over the years from a wholesale nursery to design build to commercial and equine maintenance. Now Hill & Myers offers Weed Man Lawn Care Fertilization and Weed Control for your home. Bringing together the long tradition with the best products to give you a lush, weed-free, emerald green lawn. Weed Man, we care for your lawn. Visit WeedManUSA.com to request a free estimate today. Do you want to lose weight quickly and safely? Do you want to be healthy for a lifetime? Kim did and lost 238 pounds at Ageless Medical Weight Loss. Betty did and lost 135 pounds. The Ageless program is a medically supervised affordable weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. It's early and you need a breakfast built for work days, not weekdays. Say good morning to the three buck breakfast with the chicken and gravy breakfast burrito from your DQ. Our famous chicken strip plus eggs, cheese, and pepper gravy wrapped up in a warm flour tortilla. Served with crispy hash browns and coffee, all for just three bucks. Now this is a breakfast built for work days. The chicken and gravy breakfast burrito, just one of our delicious three buck breakfasts, only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. 
It may be spring, but health leaders say don't be fooled. Flu season isn't over yet. Unfortunately, state health leaders say flu activity is still widespread in this state, which is the highest level possible. And it's been that way for the last nine weeks. Now, usually flu season peaks in January and is over by the middle of March. But health leaders say that cooler weather is keeping people inside. And that's causing the flu virus to spread. The Fayette County Health Department reports 98 flu cases this season. 20 of those were diagnosed after mid-March. Health leaders say it could be another month before flu season actually ends. Tonight we have an update on an eastern Kentucky dog who received a lot of help after being seriously injured. Workers at the Menifee County Animal Shelter say Shay, a chocolate lab, was likely hit by a car. Her two front legs had to be amputated. The shelter was able to raise enough money to buy Shay a special wheelchair so she can get around, and that wheelchair has now arrived. Shelter workers say they're giving Shay a couple of days to get used to moving around in it. Well, rain or snow, the spring meet begins Friday at Keeneland, and the track has some new technology for racing fans to use. Keeneland's Race Day app now features a bet simulator. It will walk people through the process of placing a bet and even tell them how much money they'll receive if they win. The app will also feature live streaming video of races and interactive maps of Keeneland, among other features. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. And for folks who are already making plans for Keeneland, let's face it, we have been for a while, haven't we? On Friday, the chance is there for a shower. Not expecting it to rain the entire day, but it's going to be chilly and it's going to be windy. Let's look outside. Speaking of chilly, windy, and wet. You see the rain showing up on our live sky cam. Hamburg Pavilion in the distance. Winds at times today have hit 40 to 45 miles an hour. Right now, we're under 30 in Lexington, 29 mile per hour gusts, but it is turning colder as we speak, down to 52 degrees as the rain continues to work on into town. This is the first of a couple of rounds we will expect as we go through the next few hours. Soaking rain, some thunder and lightning with this a little earlier, kind of going by the wayside now. Heaviest rain from Moorhead back into Flemingsburg, Owingsville, Nicholas County. That heavy band of rain north of Interstate 64. We get into the Lexington Bluegrass region. A lighter brand of rain still, though, producing a lot of puddles on the road. Slow down. Take it easy. Watch for hydroplaning here across the Berea area and the northern parts of Rockcastle County. A break, though, far southern Kentucky. That's not going to have a very long lifespan. Look at the showers and thunderstorms to our west. Now, this little band has produced winds greater than 55 miles per hour at times. So we're going to see the winds ramping up across central Kentucky over the next couple of hours. We even have a severe thunderstorm warning into Evansville, Indiana, with a wind gust at 65 miles per hour. You're getting a warning without thunder and lightning with that. Cold front pushing this mess right on top of the area. Another cold front behind that. You got one waiting in the wings across parts of the Dakotas. Each time a front comes through here, it's going to drop the temperatures down. Tomorrow, not going to rain all day. Chance for a shower or two at any point during the day. You may see some rays of sun, then all of a sudden you get a little shower to come through temperatures upper 40s to around 50 degrees. That hour by hour forecast, 7 this evening. Watch how quickly that band of showers and thunderstorms races into central Kentucky. That can still produce some wind damage as it makes its way into central and eastern Kentucky. We'll keep an eye on that. You don't have to have thunder and lightning to get wind damage, and that's something we'll keep a very close watch on over the next three or four hours. By tomorrow morning, northwesterly winds ushering in some colder air and the potential for a shower or two. But you do notice some holes in there. 11 o'clock tomorrow evening, it's upper 30s. Hello Friday morning with some upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Friday afternoon, anyone is fair game for a small hail producing shower with temperatures mainly in the 40s. Then as we go into Friday night and Saturday morning, that'll be the best shot for picking up on a snowflake or a two. Mid to upper 20s Saturday morning will grow even colder as we get deeper into the weekend. So let's just concentrate on those temperatures now for the upcoming weekend. We know Saturday morning is cold. We were just showing you that. Look at Saturday afternoon. Temperatures upper 30s to low 40s across the entire region. By the time we go into 11 o'clock on Saturday evening, we're down into the 20s, and some pockets of low 20s may show up on Sunday morning into parts of the area. 
next few days. Wish I had better news for folks heading out to Whitaker Bank Ballpark tomorrow night for the Legends season opener to Keeneland on Friday with a chance for some showers, gusty winds, and the weekend. Guys will feature a little improving sky late Sunday. All right. Thank you, I guess. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bear of bad news. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Well, Tyler Eulis had his family with him when he made his announcement today. He did. His father, James, had some interesting things to say about him. And who takes over at the point now that Tyler has departed? Stay with us. That's next on WKYT. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Here's a fact. Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram offers you a lifetime warranty at no additional cost on every certified pre-owned vehicle. It doesn't end after 10 years, not after 100,000 miles. It's available at no extra cost. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. It's been said the origin of modern golf can be traced to Scotland. Known for its highlands and lowlands, early golfers had to adjust from mountainous terrains to the lowest valleys if they wanted to compete. While we don't expect you to dust off the old kilt, we do invite you to play around at the two most distinct courses in Kentucky, Stonecrest and the Paintsville Golf Course. Visit Paintsville and Prestonsburg today. Mention this ad and save 20% on tee times and lodging. In 1934, Steak and Shake decided the world didn't need another hamburger. They needed a steak burger, so they used 100% beef. Quick sear to seal in the flavor you'll only get from a steak burger. Steak and Shake, home of the original steak burger. I have to like my doctors. I've got to feel like they have a personal interest in me. Not that I'm a basketball coach, but that I'm somebody they know and they are concerned about. I could go any place for my medical care, but I chose Danville and the Ephraim McDowell Medical Center. A trusted leader in heart care, Ephraim McDowell Regional Medical Center, where excellence is our only standard. Toyota started with an idea, and Prius changed the world. That led to the family size Highlander and a hybrid version of Camry, America's best-selling car, two more Prius models, a luxurious Avalon, and now the first ever RAV4 hybrid sport utility and the mid-size fourth generation Prius, the most dynamic, most responsive Prius ever. Toyota Hybrids, now with seven to choose from, starting at just $23.95. Toyota, let's go places. You don't have to wear smaller diamonds. The Castle is the biggest discounter of diamonds, fine jewelry, and pre-owned Rolex watches. Shop 10 Castle locations or thecastlejewelry.com. It's a routine call a Code 7 at a local laundromat. What we saw, well, nothing can prepare you for it. We went in, we approached the victim. He was dying of boredom. Agents of play, sir. We got there just in time. We handed him a scratch-off ticket and watched him play. Thank you. Have fun. I'm serious. His smile, well, that's the only thanks we needed. It's what being an agent of play is all about. Put a little play in your day, week, month, or year with these exciting new scratch-offs from the Kentucky Lottery. Fueling imagination. Funding education. Right now, at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade. During the spring clearance event, new 2015 Jeep Renegade Sports, just $189 a month. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Tyler Ulis had a fantastic two years at Kentucky, and now he is moving on, declaring for the NBA draft this afternoon. And this was the scene as he announced his decision at about 2.30. His mom there on his right, his stepmother on his left, his dad James was also there to speak. Everybody's going to be stronger, faster, bigger, but, you know, that's what helps me here at Kentucky because I played with pros this year, pros last year. We had last year maybe four or seven footers. So, you know, I've seen everything you can see at that. You know, I haven't seen the players that's at that level yet, but, you know, I feel like with the wide open game and the way they play, I can, you know, succeed. All right, with the Ulis announcement today, that means John Calipari will need a point guard. Isaiah Briscoe could be the guy. We did, still do not know his plans for the future. De'Aaron Fox headlines one of the best recruiting classes that Cal has ever signed. Lee K. Howard gives us a look at a player who is projected to be UK's next great point guard. 
The next in line of a long list of successful John Calipari point guards is the Aaron Fox. And it should put pressure on me, but I'm excited about it. Um, I mean, I'm playing basketball. I'm doing what I love to do, so I, I won't see anything as, as, uh, as pressure. The six foot four guard out of Katy, Texas, has already drawn comparisons to John Wall because of his speed and quickness. The fans are going to be like, you know, they always call me John Wall 2.0 or, you know, the next line of um, great Calipari point guards. Uh, I mean, I just want it. It just feels normal at this point, so I don't feel any pressure. Scout.com national analyst Evan Daniel says Fox can play both sides of the ball. I think the thing I like about him the most is his competitiveness. It's not just uh, on the offensive end either. He's a very good perimeter defender. He's a guy that really buys in on that end. He's very laterally quick and he's tough. Replacing a player like Tyler Eulis is no easy task, but Fox could be suited for the job. The, the point guard is supposed to be the uh, extension of the coach on the floor. So, um, I mean, it'll be a lot of weight on my shoulders, but I think I can handle it. Well, I think he's the best point guard in the 2016 class. He's got good physical attributes. He's 6'4". He's long, wiry. He's going to need to get stronger, but that's going to come in time. Some say 2016 could be Calipari's best ever recruiting class. But in Fox's mind, the goal is simple. I mean, we're just trying to we're trying to win a national championship. I mean, we're not talking about 40 and 0 just because of how hard that is. But, I mean, we, we want to get in there, do what we're supposed to do. And, I mean, if we're able to leave for the draft, then we will. Lee K. Howard, WKYT. And Louisville is self-imposing more sanctions on its men's basketball team in the wake of an NCAA investigation into the escort scandal. U of L sat out this year's postseason and now will strip itself of two scholarships and two official visits in the coming years. The scholarship reductions will be one apiece for 2017 and 2018 and 2018 and 2019. The official visit reductions will be one apiece this year and in 2016-17. U of L will. Also reduce its recruiting days by 30 this year, missing 24 this month and the remaining six in July. That is the latest on what's going on over in Louisville with the escort scandal. Sam Amber, back to you. Rob, thank you. A final check of your first alert weather forecast is next. Then on the CBS Evening News, 64 million Americans do not have internet access at home. What's being done to end the digital divide across the country? WKYT's First Alert Weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on Mix 94.5. Three new kinds of jaw-dropping primetime burgers. Only at Fresh's Big Boy. At Window World, you get the best price right up front. Our windows feature the Good Housekeeping Seal. And come with a lifetime limited warranty. Act now and get a house full of windows for as low as $79 a month installed. Window World, simply the best for less. Own a new 2016 Forester for only $23,980 at Quantrell Subaru. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthDocs.com to view a video of Dr. Jennifer Fusen on minimally invasive surgery. Baptist Health Lexington. Be a healthier you. What's new at Fazoli's? You've got to try Ultimate Fettuccine, one of our new signature pastas, or the Market Strawberry and Feta Insalata with house roasted chicken and so much more. And our new Meatball Da Vinci Severinos are masterpieces you get to devour. Only at Fazoli's. Central Equipment and Kubota, two names synonymous with quality. In 1982, our family business, Central Equipment, began selling Kubota equipment. Today, we've expanded our offerings to include the full line of Kubota products, from mowing and compact tractors to hay equipment, spreaders, utility vehicles, and large tractors for your farm. This season, trust the experts at Central Equipment and see the latest lineup of Kubota products with 0% financing available. This is Once, the Tony Award-winning musical about following your heart and your dreams. You cannot miss Once. For five performances, April 22nd through 24th at the Lexington Opera House. 
Fall in love with your yard this season. At Landscapers Corner, you will find Triple Crown Elite Grass Seed, deemed the best grass seed for our area, available in 5, 25, and 50 pound bags. In addition to our grass seed, we also have a variety of mulches, soil amendments, bell pine needles, fertilizers, polytone, and trap land for your fall projects. Delivery service is available on select items. We offer premium products at affordable prices. Shop now at Landscapers Corner. Three new kinds of jaw-dropping primetime burgers, only at Fresh's Big Boy. Rainy night here in the bluegrass. Yeah, you see the fountains downtown. We got our own fountain over <laughs> top of us right now. The rain on the east side of Lexington. Look toward western Kentucky, though. That is a line of showers and a couple of rumbles of thunder west of 65. Give it one to two hours. That's into parts of central Kentucky. Guys, winds with that may hit 50 to 55 miles per hour. Mm. So it's just the start. That is, yep. All right. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here at 11. CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley is next. <laughs>